Actually, there is somebody try to call us, a Muslim, I guess. Let us see. <clears throat> Maybe ultimate fort. This guy is trying to, to to get back his my fingerprints. <coughs> Go ahead. Ultimate fort. You know that. Yeah, see, I know it's ultimate fort. This person, he feel like he been raped and he don't know what to do. I did not rape you. I just made you shish kebab. Coward. Hello? Hello, hello? Yes, my friend, you are live on here. You are a Muslim, right? Yes, are you live? Yeah. How are you doing, man? I'm um, fine. I don't know if you hear us, what we were talking about. Uh, no, no, I wasn't. Okay, we were talking about who is the one who made the Quran? Who made it? It's the eternal word of God. Okay, so if we go as an example, 20, chapter 27. One sec, though, before we start, I need to grab my charger. My phone's about to die, so just give me one minute, Tom. All right. Okay. <laughs> He's getting his charger, so we hope we will not will not take him long. <coughs> Hello, can you hear me? Yeah, I hear you. Go ahead. First, yeah, uh, yeah, I'm back. Do you like to introduce yourself? Yeah, I'm just a Muslim guy. Okay, a Muslim guy. I like. Do you have good knowledge in Islam, or are you just an average person? No, I'm just an Arabic claimer. Oh, you are. You speak Arabic. Yeah, alhamdulillah. All right. So we were talking about that will help us a lot. Uh, we were we we ask you who is the one who brought the Quran? Who is the one who is speaking in the Quran? Who who the, uh, it's Allah's words, so Allah speaking it, and okay, it says it's in Allah's words. So, but the yeah. chap chapters in the front of us says not true. Chapter twenty seven as an example. Chapter twenty seven as an example. Which ayah? Uh, yeah. uh -huh. Chapter twenty seven, the okay. chapter of An Naml, verse mm -hmm. number eighteen says. Uh, that when he came to the valley of the ants, one of the ants said, "O oh, ants, enter your dwelling." Who is talking here, Allah or the ant? <laughs> Allah is quoting the ant. Okay, so Allah quoting the ant. Yeah. Okay, so the Quran is not the word of Allah. No, Allah said this. Is a quote made by Allah. No, so I'll explain to you, right? So the first thing we need to establish, Surah At-Tawbah, Ayah 6 says, وَإِذْ أَحَدٍ مِنَ الْمُشْرِكِينَ اسْتَجَارَكَ فَأَجِرْهُ حَتَّى يَسْمَعَ كَلَامُ اللَّهِ Oh, okay. Right? All right. So in Surah At-Tawbah here, it's making it clear mm -hmm. that the Quran is Kalam Allah and it can be heard. Okay? Right. My friend, so here, but, but, yeah. but this is will not change anything. The end there, you are the one who just said to me uh -huh. that Kalam Allah is not in that verse. It was the end talking. Yeah, Allah is quoting that. Allah said that too. Okay, so when when Allah is quoting the end, how the end was able to make Quran? But I'll give you an example, right? Yeah. If you say, um, my name is Christian Prince, mm -hmm. and then I say, he said his name is Christian Prince, mm -hmm. I said what you said. Okay. Even though I'm quoting you, I still said those words. All right, but who is the one who is making those words? Is that Allah or the end? Allah is the one saying it and he's quoting the ant who said it. Okay, you just repeat saying quoting the ants. So yeah. the, the, uh, Allah himself, he, uh, uh, when the Muslim, they say to us, who can make Quran, like the Quran of Allah, they are not being truthful with us because as you see, ant is making Quran. Are you talking, what? Ant is making Quran. 
Are you saying, just so I make sure I understand you, in the Quran it says, وَإِذِنْ كُنْتُمْ فِي لَيْبٍ مِمَّا نَزَلْنَاهُ لِعَبْدِنَا That to be a uh, surah min mithliha. Yeah. You're, you're trying you to say this. You're the verse, by the way. You're, you're reading the verse wrong. But anyway, I'm reading off memory, but if I said it wrong, okay. may Allah forgive me. But no, it's just off memory. So, oh, it's but this ayah, right? Yeah. Are you trying to equate it for the fact that Allah is quoting the ant, or Allah quotes the jinn, or Allah quotes Dul Qurnain, or Allah quote, uh, quotes other people? And saying, because Allah said that. So, if I, if I start a book, if I write a book, and I start quoting the conversation between me and you, still this is my book. All of it. Okay. Right? No, yeah. that's not true. Because if if the whole conversation here is between the ant and Suleiman and the bird and the Afrit, well, where is the word of Allah? Here we go, read with me. And then it says, uh, 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 he, he looked at the birds. He did not find the bird. Who is talking there? Suleiman. Then he continues he's saying, and then I will make him barbecue if he did not give me a clear reason. And then he continue. And then he says, and then the bird he came, and the bird he said, so until now, what we don't see Allah talking. This is just a bird and Suleiman and ant. And then he and he found next to them, and he find next to her, and she and she said, and he said, What is Allah? Okay, okay, so this is Allah quoting them. And now this came before the birds who came into existence because we believe the Quran is eternal. So Allah actually he said this before they said this, right? So your whole argument falls apart when you're hold on. Guys, did you hear this? Allah is saying this before the bird says this. Of course, the Quran is eternal. Okay, so the Quran the, the, Does Allah not have knowledge so, of the future? So okay, so when somebody in the Quran is speak, it was not his decision, it was the decision of Allah. No, no, this is how this has to do with the qadr and qadr of Allah, right? I mean, you have the same concept in Christianity. No, if God knows no, no, we don't. This is al -qadr, Wait, al -qadr, does God know the future? Al -qadr, al -qadr does God does... is not knowing the future, okay, is, okay. is deciding the future. No, no, okay, I have a question for you, okay? Yeah. If what you're going to do tomorrow, does God know what, you, what it is? But this has nothing to do with his decision about what No, 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 I, I will show you. I will. Does God know what you're going to do tomorrow? Yeah. Okay, so that means can you, can you change what God knows you're going to do? I can change what I want to do. No, no. Can you change what God knows you're going to do? That's well, my question. Uh, what God, then God, he knows that I will change it. No, no. But, but that means he knows the final answer, what you're going to do. And there's nothing you can do to change that. Correct? No, I can change always and I can prove it to you. No, no. Can you change what Allah knows you're going to do? Okay, let me, or what let God... me give you an example. Let me give you... Because you're a Muslim, I'm, I'm a Christian, so we have different understanding. If okay. Allah, he decides somebody to die, can I change that? No. No, no way, right? Yeah, same for you. You okay. have to believe that. Okay. So how... When Allah He sent His angel to Moses, Moses did boxing to the angels, and He did not let him take his his, his sword. That's not what happened. Do you want me to explain the hadith for you? Okay, here you go ahead. Okay, so the angel came to Musa, right? Uh huh. And then the angel back that the, it came in a human form. Okay. All right. And the angel asked him if it could take his life. And Musa was confused, what's going on? Why this this is human asking me that he's gonna take my life. So he punched it in the face. Okay? Hmm. And then the angel went back to Allah. And Allah told him to go back again and ask him if he wants to give his life to Allah. So was okay. a, Musa was given the option. And the second time it came, the Musa said, Yes, I will. So it wasn't an, an amr, it was a, first of all it was a question. And second of all, this is a complete straw man. My question is for oh, in no, your no, belief. No, no, before, before, wait, we go, before, before you jump. First of oh, all, where you it says, where do you get this that uh, uh, Musa's uh, he did just beat a human, and uh, Musa he thought this is a human. This is what yeah, he, so, he thought. Okay. He, he thought this is a human. Yeah, because Albani, if you read the uh, what Albani, rahimahullah, said about this okay. hadith, uh -huh. he said back in back in those times, uh -huh. the angels would come in the form of a human. Okay. So what? And okay, hold pardon on. Me? But you remember, who cared about what form he will come? Let us say he will come in a form of mosquito. I ask you, if Allah decide that you will die tomorrow. Can I change Allah, that? You said no. No, but uh, uh, Allah didn't decide that. Allah didn't decide Musa was going to die then. No, he didn't decide the angel that. of death is not the one who decide the life and the Quran confirmed that. It is Allah no, who decide no. your life. Yes, yes, yes. Allah did not decide that Musa was going to die that the, the first time. Allah didn't decide that. Where do you get, he this, from? Where do you get this from? Where do you get this from? Isn't because it Allah, life? isn't it the end no, of life? Allah knows Are you saying to listen, me that the angel of death? You're cutting me off. Hold on, you're hold, me on off. hold on. You're no, not this, giving me a chance to talk. This is absolutely false, isn't it? Your prophet, he said that when, I'm not you, are born, trust when you are before even you are born, Allah he sent an angel. He go inside the woman. He write his destiny. He write his privilege. He write his bad, his deed, his, his good deed, his yeah. bad deed, and he lie. He write his lifespan.
Yeah, and in Jeremiah chapter 1, verse 5, God says, I knew you before you were even in your mother's womb. Exactly. Right? So what? But this has nothing to do with this. Allah okay, here. Wait, but Allah, you keep cutting me off, so you don't on, know. Hold on, hold on. You cut, you're cutting me off. I, I don't get to me. This is about God knowledge. Here we are talking about destiny. So your okay, God, can I, so your God wait, here. Destiny is connected with knowledge. God did right. No, no, no. I get, the, why can't I speak? The, does the verse say, does the hadith say, that Allah he wrote for you or your, your lifespan? Can I can I speak? Yeah, it does say that in the Quran. But okay. can I speak now? So can I make? Allah can I explain? Write, when Allah he write the life span, can the angel broke that life span which is written by Allah? Okay, you you speak, and then when you're done, I'll speak. Go ahead. Okay, go ahead. No, I, I'm asking you. Go ahead. No, no. Okay, I'm gonna answer, and you want to? <laughs> you're ahead. not gonna interrupt. Go ahead. Okay. So first of all, the knowledge of Allah is connected to the destiny of Allah, the destiny, right? The, you can't say that we're speaking about the knowledge and not the destiny. You have to speak about the two at the same time, hmm. okay? And the qadr of Allah um, is the same exact thing in the Bible. God knows the future and there's nothing you can do to change God's knowledge of that future. If God knows you're going to die tomorrow, let's say you're going to die tomorrow, God knows that and you can't change that. No matter what, God knows that's going to happen. We believe in the same thing? No, you don't. No, we do. Because uh, first of all, this has nothing to do with our topic. God knowledge have nothing to do. Where he go? <laughs> you see how to try and mix things? What God knowledge have to do with destiny about how long you live? The angel of death, he came to Moses to take his life and he do not follow the order of Allah. <laughs> Let us call him back. <coughs> Maybe his phone died, but he, but he said he put the charger. Okay, maybe he's trying to call it. Let's see. But if his son die, he will go offline. His Skype will not ring. Let us text him. Remember what he said. He said that the first time the angel came, Allah did not send him. <laughs> Do you know why he hang up? Any Muslim knows why he hang up? The answer in front of you. They love to lie. You sent me to a servant who do not want to die. Do you see it? Did he say that Allah first time did not send him? <laughs> they love to make things up just to cover the problems of the stupidity of their prophet. You send me, talking to who? To Allah. Who's talking? The angel. He went back to who? To his Lord. The angel of death came back to the Lord. So first time before he go, he was with the Lord. It's the Lord who sent him. And then he said, you send me. So do you see how they lie? Can you change the order of death happen made by Allah? Yes, I can. Because your God is a tomato, potato. What kind of God 
He's, by the way, he's watching now. What kind of God? He sent his angel, and the Muslim they claim that no, you cannot change the knowledge of Allah. You cannot change the destiny of Allah. Here we go, you can. The guy even he beat the angel. And the funny he said that the angel came to him in the form of a man. He did not tell him I'm an angel. <laughs> the angel of death he come in the form of a man since when? And first time he come without Allah order? Do you see silly? This religion is. But how they can explain such a stupidity? Let's call him again. I think he will not answer again. That's it. He noticed. He noticed that this topic is not going to be fun. That's it. He will never answer. This boxing match did not last for long. You send me to a servant. He said to us, Allah did not send him first time. Did we hear him saying that Allah did not send him first time? And if Allah did not send him first time, who is the one who decides how, how long people live then? Who is the one who sent him first time? But as you see, it says you send me, speaking to Allah. The angel of death speaking to Allah. Angel, he's an angel. He don't take order from anyone. So he said, uh, you send me, speaking to who? To his Lord. He came back to his Lord. Why? Because his Lord is the one who sent him. No, we spoke about Rama in the beginning. You miss it. What? Uh, we stuck with Rama. Rama is just a news. The Muslim, they have a phobia. A lot of girls in Egypt, they are calling their family, they are calling their daughters Rama. The Muslim, they want not. Phobia. Hypocrite people. They call, they say, because this is a god of a, of a pagan religion. But they call Salah the Pharaoh. They call their daughters uh, the Fertiti, Cleopatra, Venus, all kinds of names. Suddenly, so Rama is the problem. This is our topic about Rama. We speak about it for two hours. It's a news. Crazy people. Rama is driving them crazy. What happened to the Abdul? So here you see that this religion from the beginning to the end is stupid. Did you did, did you hear this guy saying Allah is quoting the end? Allah is what? Quoting the end. So the Quran is not the book of God. The Quran is a quotation of the ant, of the cow, of the spider, of the chair, of Jibreel, of Muhammad, of Suleiman, of David. So this is not word by word of God as they claim. And this is not what they claim that nobody can make like it because as you see the ant making like it actually, the ant she made it first. If we go to the hadith, I assure you, we'll never call. You know, this guy—he knew that he's he's going he's going really wrong, in wrong place. Uh, even Omar al-Khattab he made Quran. 
some Muslims they say that Allah he agreed with Umar in, in 10 things some they say 3 some they say 7 but let us say the most popular ones Umar he says my Lord agreed with me or I agreed with my Lord in three things okay what are they who is the one who chose the Kaaba for Muslim to pray Umar not Muhammad who is the one who made the women have wear hijab Umar who is the one who made the verses about divorcing the wives of Muhammad Umar and not only that the funny is it says that Allah he sent the verses as I said As what? As I said? Umar al-Khattab. Allah taking what Umar he said? Word by word. Read carefully. My Lord agree with me in three things. I said this, take the station, Abraham station, they took the station. Uh, force your wife to wear hijab, uh, force his wife to wear hijab. Then uh, uh, may Allah divorce his wife, exactly, read carefully it says. Uh, once the wives of the Prophet made a united front against the Prophet, and I said to them, it may be, who said that? Omar. It may be, the, between two brackets, the prophets divorce you all, uh, that his Lord will give you instead of you, wives better than you. So this verse came, as I had said. Do you see it? Who is the one making Quran? Any Muslim have an answer? Very stupid, confusing cult. In one hand, they believe that Allah is the one who decides everything. Suddenly, we find that Allah have no idea. <coughs> Let us see if this guy is a Muslim. trying to lower the sound of the ringing until he speak so it doesn't bother you <coughs> hello yeah hello turn off your camera please okay just a click at the camera it's going to go off and now tell me what do you like to say my friend you're almost time yeah i'm a muslim huh? all right what do you want to say to us um the other guy who called um make a good point that everything was destined it was do you what? have a problem with that it was. everything is already destined yeah everything is destined exactly it's what the quran and the islam teach and you said you yeah said, you said you have a problem with that no, I'm asking if you have any problem with that. Yeah, because if, if everything is this tonight, so why you will pay for what is destiny? Let us say I killed somebody today. And okay. uh, and, and now I will be punished. But it's Allah who destined for me to do it. Why I will be punished? Let us say I am a Christian now, right? Right. I am a Christian. Okay. Uh, Allah he destined for me to be Christian. So why Allah will send me to hell if he is the one who destined for me to be Christian? Yeah, because there is also a free will in the process, I guess. There's yeah. no free will. Uh, he, uh, go ahead, show me. When, when, when Adam commits sin, did he commit sin by free will or against his will? Sorry, I don't get that. Adam, Adam, the first man, when he commits oh, sin, okay. did he choose to commit sin yeah. or Allah forced him? 
I guess no. Adam choose to commit sin. Yeah. No. According, Why no? According to your prophet, Allah forced him. Allah, he wrote in his ah. destiny, 40 years before Adam, he was created, that Adam would do but sin. That, yeah, but that, that is from the Hadith here. Yeah? yeah. So, and you already know, because you are a landed man, that uh, most of the Hadith cannot be trusted. Well, yeah, this is Sahih so. Bukhari. This is the most trustworthy. This is more important than the yeah. Quran. Yeah, most important, can, that can be correct, but even Sahih Bukhari can get things messed up. Okay. okay, so you Muslim, you say to us that we Muslims we lie about our prophet, correct? No, uh, wait a minute. So who That's is the one who's lying there? Okay, if it doesn't say this is a lie. Who is the one who's lying there? And why you Muslim call it authentic if it's a lie? Hey, this is a long and complicated process, man. No, it's not complicated. Okay. I wanted to answer. Either it's authentic or it's a garbage. So why you Muslim call it authentic when it's garbage? Um, remember, only a few group of people call this authentic. Not every Muslim. There are a bunch of Muslims no, all over all the Muslim place. Sunni, okay. All Muslim Sunni consider Al Bukhari authentic. What do you mean, few of people? Are you talking about like no. a, a 900 million? Those are the few. It can be maybe it can be like more than that or even less than that. You know, okay. So like okay. Uh, this, uh, okay. So is that a few people or this is uh, the majority of Muslims then? The the point is, it's not all Muslims who claim this. That's my point. Yeah. And who, so, yeah. Uh, so how Islam is a, is a preserved if even the speech of your prophet is a joke? It's a fabrication. No, look, nobody is. Uh, no, nobody can, uh, can 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 prove that this uh, from the prophet really. Okay. You know, uh, you can uh, ask. Can, can you prove that the Quran from the prophet? Even the Quran, no. Even the Quran, no. So why you are a Muslim? Yeah, I'm a Muslim because I, bo I was born into the Muslim family, okay? So, um, yeah, uh, more or less, I have to be a Muslim. So, okay? are you, so are I'm you a Muslim by belief or you are just a Muslim by birth? Do you believe or you don't believe? I am both a Muslim by birth and by belief, yeah. Okay, so I ask you, can you prove to me the Quran to be from the Prophet? You said no. So how you do you not have a belief? Because if you have a belief, you will not even a question that you will say for sure it's from from Muhammad. No, this is not how it works. Okay, my believe, belief. Do you them... believe in the Quran or not? Yeah, I okay. believe in the Quran. So you believe in the yeah. Quran. Okay, how come you believe in the Quran but you don't believe in the Hadith? And and both of them, according to you, there is no way to prove that they are coming from Muhammad. Yeah, but, um, my friend, look, these things happened long time ago. Okay, and I was not there to prove anything. Okay, so uh, um, I just happened to be existing and found this thing all, all, all over the place and my parents, everybody is believing it and I also believe it. Okay, and... Okay, okay hold on. So when you convince yourself that you are a Muslim, what, what a Muslim mean? Go tell me, go ahead. <clears throat> what do you mean? What do you, come on, what I don't say, understand. What does that mean? What does that mean? You are a Muslim. You say I'm, I'm a Muslim. What does that mean? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> huh? yeah, I'm a Muslim. What, Come does, that on, what, does, that uh, what does that mean? Yeah, a Muslim means somebody who who submit. No, okay. Where you, I, I challenge you to show me one verse in the Quran says that a Muslim means to submit. No, this is what this is what I understand so far. Okay. Okay, so, so you, you, he, don't uh, even, you don't even understand the definition of yourself as a Muslim. So you say I'm a Muslim, you don't know what Muslim means. No, but I tell you, Muslim means somebody who submit. No, it's not. I said to you, prove it to me. You said, I don't know. So where you got the word? If submit? you see, where you got the word submit from YouTube? No, this is what um, my teachers told me. Okay. It means somebody who submit. Let us make it simple. Yeah. Is a Muslim is somebody is a believer or he don't have to believe? Of course, you have to believe. As a Muslim, you have to believe. Wrong. Because like uh, most Wrong. of what you believe. No. Okay. A Muslim, yeah, can you the Muslim is the one who do not See. believe. A Muslim is the one who don't believe in Muhammad, neither in Allah. It's just someone he says wow. Come on, wait a minute. That's too. That is you are. What you are saying is really okay. too big, man. Chapter forty nine. Read for me. Chapter forty nine, verse number fourteen. It says clearly yeah. that the the Muslims, the word Muslim, the yeah, Muslims Muslim. is not the one who believe. Is the one who says shahada. You don't believe. 
Uh, w- yeah, but uh, Sahara itself is is signifying belief, Uda. It's another question, my friend. I ask you, what Muslim mean? You say you, you submit. I said to you the word Muslim, yeah. the Quran explain it. Chapter 49, verse number 14, is those who say Shahada, they surrender to, 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 to Allah, but they don't believe. A Muslim is not a believer. A Muslim is somebody, he says Shahada, because if he don't say Shahada, he would die. He will, he will kill him. So it is to surrender, but you do not need to believe. And the verse in the front of your eyes, read it. Where is the verse? Chapter 49, verse 14. Okay, okay. Um, the Bedouin say, we believe. Say, you believe not. But you only say, we have surrendered in Islam. For faith has not yet entered your hearts. But if you obey Allah and his messenger, he will not decree. Yeah, so, so what's your point here? My point is, the my point is, yeah. how they are Muslim, yeah. it says here, you see the word was surrender, this is, the, this is what Muslim mean, surrender, not submit. So they say we are Muslims, this translation for Muslim, surrender, we are Muslim. No, he said to them, okay, say, you, you, he said to them, you can say you are a Muslim, but you cannot say I'm a believer. Believe never enter your heart, never, never enter your heart. Yeah, but remember, I did not say a Muslim is a believer. I said a Muslim is somebody who surrender, uh, who who submit, submit himself. No, you see, submit. Yeah. submit is a believer because when you say submit, it's somebody doing it willingly. Surrender is not willingly. Here we go. Muhammad, he told them, either you believe or I will kill you. They say, okay, we will become a Muslim. So he said to them, okay, don't say we believe, say we, say we are Muslims. Why? Because faith never entered your heart. So how they became Muslims and they are not believers? What kind of religion accept a person to say he is a Muslim? Muhammad, Allah saying to them, say we are Muslim, don't say we are believers. What kind of God he accept hypocrisy, saying to them, say we are Muslims, but don't say we are believers. No, it says, it says that we have surrendered, not we are Muslims. That's what he said. My friend, Buddha? my friend. You, you are saying, seeing it. Says, I'm, I'm, say, I'm, I'm, being just, I'm, I'm just being patient with you. You don't speak Arabic. Here it says, Aslamna, we became Muslims. Aslamna, we become Muslims. This was surrender meal. So he's saying, say, they are not the one saying. They they are saying we are believers. He said to them, no, don't say that. Say we are Muslims. Don't say we are believers. For heart never enter your heart. So Allah is telling them what to call themselves. Call yourself a Muslim, but never call yourself a believer. So it is not required in Islam to be a believer, to be a Muslim. All what is required is to surrender to Allah and say Shahada or die. We will kill you. Tell My us. friend, as far as I can see, this uh, verse, verse 14, um, did not talk about Muslims here. It is belief it's not and up surrender. To you. Okay, the verse in the front of you. Don't waste my time. Here it says, Aslamna. Aslamna. Do you know what Aslamna mean? No. Muslims, we become Muslims. If you are a kid, don't call me. This is why he says, we have surrendered between two brackets in Islam. We become Muslims. We have surrendered, this is your Muslim translation. We have surrendered between two brackets in Islam. What does that mean? Surrender in Islam, what does that mean? We become Muslims. <laughs> So this is how this is how evil this religion is, if we can quote religion. All what he want people to say shahada, just say he's a prophet. You believe, you don't believe, who care? Muhammad do not want believers. He want people to join his army. Maybe this is ultimate fault, he changed his name. <clears throat> yeah, this is ultimate fault. Who is next? <clears throat> this is Omar, as if I know who is Omar. <clears throat> Oh, 
Okay, well, we called him, didn't answer. You see, this is totally the opposite of teaching of Christ. Jesus said, not everyone says to me, Lord, Lord, will enter the kingdom of my Father, but the one who do his will. Here, just say Shahada. You don't need to be a believer. Islam, religion of the hypocrite. This is a man, he worship hypocrisy. Be a, be a hypocrite, and you are welcome. He's saying to me, don't hang up on me. My, my friend, I'm losing my patience with you. I say to you, it says Islam now in Arabic. You say to me, it doesn't say that. Okay, go and deal with your business. What about you go and read the interpretation for the verse? Even in front of you, it says we surrender in Islam. What does that mean? We become Muslims. You're a prophet. The one you call him prophet. He threatened the Arabs saying to them, if you don't believe, I'm going to kill you all. Chapter 48, verse number 16. Those by the way, they don't want to join Muhammad. He said to them, you shall be called to fight against people of giving a great warfare. warfare, warfare. Then you shall fight them. Or they shall surrender. But what's under me again? They become Muslims. Muhammad is threatening everybody. Convert or die. Now those people, they surrender. They become Muslims. Muhammad said to them, okay, you know, you cannot fool me. I know you don't believe in me. I know none of you believe in me. This is why Muhammad the, the smart Abdul saying to me, this is, a, this is a war situation. Who cares if it's a war situation or what? Are you stupid or what? War situation or peace situation, how and what kind of a prophet he accept people to be calling themselves Muslims when they are not? They don't believe. <laughs> stupid is amazing. This is war situation. So, because it's war situation, who is the one who made the war? You made the war. Now you are forcing them to convert to Islam, but you don't believe in Islam. And you are saying to them, don't say we believe, say we are Muslims. War situation. <laughs> what a joke. <clears throat> if you have a question, ask me in the chat, not in Skype. Otherwise, I will block you. War situation. A true prophet of God, he will not accept e even to say hello to you if you are a liar, hypocrite. Join him, you don't believe. This guy is teaching them the opposite, saying, You do not need to believe. Just say Shahada. That's all. Abdul saying, uh, CP cannot debate uh, those Muslims who they are confident. Do you see how confident this guy? He said that he is not sure even the Quran from Allah. You see how confident he is? <laughs> confident. <laughs> I mean, do you see how confident? Isn't it your friend? He said, I don't know even if the Quran is from Allah. I don't know even if the Hadith is from the Prophet. And this is what you call confident? potato <laughs> that's a lot of confident <laughs> we are here the one who make you deny your Quran we make you deny it you must have reached the point now not only you say the hadith is the if is rejected we don't accept it now you say Quran we do not know if it's from Muhammad or not and this is what he said very confident Another Abdul saying, Christianity and Hinduism both are polytheists. You see, first of all, when a Muslim he speak about monotheism, uh, I, that make me laugh because the Hadith says that Allah said to stupid Muhammad, "If you don't, if you have a doubt about what you know, go and ask the Christians and the Jews." 
So how we are not monotheist, and then your stupid God asking your stupid prophet to ask the Christians who they are not monotheist, what is the true belief is? <laughs> See the stupidity of this religion. The Christians and the Hindus, they are not monotheists. Okay, we will go with you. So, how your stupid God, he said to your stupid prophet, if you have a doubt about what we gave you, go and ask Christian Prince. Are you there, Abdul? That means your prophet is not monotheist then. Because if we are not monotheist, and then your stupid God saying, go and ask the people of the book, the people of the Torah, and the people of the gospel. When I say that this God, the, the additional proof that the God of Islam is a stupid is his followers. Look at their answer. So we are not monotheist, and then the stupid Allah, he said to the stupid prophet, ask the one who they are not monotheist. How stupid is that? <clears throat> ah, it's a conditional, guys. It's a conditional. This, this, this guy is, a, is a, a supposed to, uh, this, is a, this is a Muslim who just dig in his nose. This is a brand new digging. Let me show you this one. This is the last nose digging. Gold, boogers. Armin, try to understand the verse, chapter 10, 94. God told prophet, if you are in doubt, conditional. So are you saying to me that your God, Allah, he do not know if Muhammad, if, or he is? <laughs> Isn't it your brother who called me and he hang up and run? Is the one who says Allah he knows everything? So what conditional? This is conditional can work if I do not know. I can say to this person, if you need to go to the bathroom, go, because I do not know if he need to go or not. This is God. And you just said it's a conditional. So Allah is making a condition. If you have a doubt, Muhammad, because Allah is not sure, ask Christian Prince Muhammad. If you are, but who cares if it's conditional or not? Your God is making it clear. The only one you can ask is not Rama, is not the Hindus, is a Christian prince. Conditional. Okay, we will read Tafsir. Here we go. You know, just to show you how Muslims, it's like a monkey, you know, like a monkey in the circus. You know, the monkey in the circus. Where is this guy? Here we go. Read Tafsir. Okay, read Tafsir, brother. Don't read your own. Okay, I will open Tafsir. Are you sure? Abdul, are you sure you want me to open the Tafsir? Because if I open the Tafsir, you will say to me, I don't accept Tafsir. <laughs> okay, you said open the Tafsir. I will open the Tafsir. <laughs> Are you ready? Let us put your comment in the screen. Okay, read Tafsir. Don't make your own. My friend, I opened the Tafsir. It says that women have a sperm coming from her ribs and man have a sperm coming from his backbone. So are you sure you want me to open the Tafsir? <laughs> Open the tafsir, okay? Don't read as you wish. And now the second we start showing him what tafsir says, he will say, I don't accept this tafsir. He's a human. Like, what? He's a human. Like, what the heck does that mean? He's, he's a human. Uh, Muhammad is a human too. Yeah, but uh, yeah, this, uh, no, this, uh, uh, this is a human. Uh, <laughs> yeah, 
يخرج من بين الصلب والترائب meaning the, the sexual fluid comes from the backbone of the man and the ribs of the women are you enjoying tafsir this is your tafsir Do you remember the, the video of Idawa? We made a video for them. They said the word solve mean penis. Like what the heck? The word solve mean penis? <laughs> the main member. Go watch it. Can you debate with real people like David Wood? No, I cannot make a debate with real people like David Wood. Are you saying to me that all you Muslim who call me you are they are fake? Hmm. Can you? No, I cannot. Still, I am the one who make Muslim leave Islam by thousands. Me. You like it, you don't like it, face it. And now, sperm is coming from the ribs of your mom. Don't cry. It's in the front of your eyes. I don't want you to go now to the bedroom and see what your mom and dad do in the bedroom just to prove the point that your mom, she would have orgasm from her ribs. Genius, Muhammad. <clears throat> Let us see other Abdul. Go, we hear you. Hmm. Call ended in nine seconds. Who is a Muslim would like to call? What happened to this guy who speak Arabic? Who said that first time the angel was not sent by Allah? <laughs> It wasn't sent by Allah. It's an embarrassing. <clears throat> I am a Muslim. Uh. Hello. Hello, yeah. Uh, every every Muslim child is born. Every child is born as Muslim. I don't you know, understand. I already Say again what? In your book. Say again what? Yeah, every child born Muslim fitra, you know. I, uh, <coughs> yeah, and you want to blame me every, for why I'm Every Muslim. child is born as a Muslim? Yeah, yeah, yeah but... What does you, that mean? You already... Okay, what does that mean? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, every child born as a Muslim, that okay, means... What does that mean? This, this destiny thing is already tied off okay, before so we are already. If a child he is born as a Muslim, every child born as a Muslim. If a child from a Muslim family yeah. and he is born as a Muslim, as you said, if he die, he will go to heaven. Hmm. Still, I think the guy, uh, the child has to work for the, uh, has to work for heaven. Yeah. No, That's I'm why we asking, are. Is he going to go to heaven or not? Not without being a good person. How he would be good? Like a, a, a child, he is six months old, he die or two months old. Uh, is that is he going to go to heaven or to hell? No, a child, as far as I can remember, is innocent. Yeah, a child is innocent. Yeah, he would yeah, go to a heaven. Child right? is... He would go to heaven. Presumably, yes. Okay, your prophet, he said no. Wow, again, my prophet said no. Yeah. Can are I say you, something? I can tell you are no, because Muslim. you are making fun of the Shia and your, and your icon. Yeah, I'm a, I'm a Muslim man. Yeah, I'm a Muslim. You are, you are a Muslim I think like because you are making fun of the Shia, as I see in the icon, in your uh, in your profile. You are making fun of fun of the Shia in Iran. Yeah, because the Shias maybe they are more. Okay, so you are Muslim Sunni. Are, no problem. Yeah. 
So here we go. This is your prophet, he says to Aisha. Aisha told him, This uh, this child who died he is a bird of birds of paradise. He never commits sin, he never reached the age of sin, so he will go to heaven. Muhammad he said to her, oh, per adventure, don't be stupid. It might be the other way. What do you think? Um, this this um uh, scriptures are complicated. You know, we have to take our time very, very well. The second you know, after it was very easy. A second after it's very complicated. What is complicated? The child he died. He is an infant. He did not reach yeah. the age of sin. I asked you, if a child he died, he is two months old or six months old. He will go to heaven or not? He never commits sin. You said he will go to heaven. So it was very easy for you. Now it's complicated. Yeah, what because happened? Isa, who is not who is now determining the child's fate now? Isa, uh, no, I asked you just two minutes ago, if a child yes. is an infant, he is two months or six months old and he die, is he a person who will go to heaven? You said yes, it was easy to answer. It wasn't complicated. Yes. Now I'm showing Please you a hadith, your prophet saying the opposite. Yeah, but this was according to my own uh, understanding. I told okay. the guy, the, so uh, the, the you child. How your own understanding as a Muslim is against your private understanding? How does that work for you? I thought everyone is born yeah. as a Muslim. So how you are born as a Muslim, but you do not understand what Islam means? I am trying to understand what Islam means. Okay, okay, but you are born as a Muslim. So Allah, he put it in fitrah. Fitrah means that you are born with it. This is what fitrah means. Do you know what fitrah means? Mm. You Muslims, you copy no. Arabic word, you have no idea what it means. Fotra mean you have a, you, you do poo poo. Fotra mean that you uh, piss. Fotra mean that you, you 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 creep like a child. This is fitra. You know the things were born with us. So how we are born as a Muslim? That is stupid. Because if you are born as a Muslim, then you should know from from the day of, of number one in your life what Muslim mean, and you do not need anyone to teach you because you are born with it. So you Muslim, you are like a like a recording machine. Fitra, 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 fitra. Nobody knows what fitra mean. If I am born with this fitra, I should not, I will not need even a prophet because I'm born with it. Oh, you are really a very complicated man. Um, complicated. Have you ever heard of a duck? She need to take a class of swimming? She's born what? with fitra. Born with fitra. What is the fitra? She swim. Right away, she come from the egg, she swim. A duck. She do not need to take a class of swimming. Her mother, she will not take her to the classroom. Let me teach you today how to swim. They don't. They right away come from the egg, they swim. So when you okay, say fatra, uh, when you say fatra, learn from now. Don't be stupid like the rest of the Muslims. When you say a fatra, okay. that's mean you are a duck and you know how to swim and do not need anyone to teach you how to swim. So how come you are born as a Muslim, but you do not know what Islam is? Yeah, uh, you, you remember um, in one of your videos, you talk about, okay, maybe you can still think I'm trying to change the topic. I'm trying to understand my religion, okay? Mm -hmm. That does not mean I'm trying to run away, okay? Mm -hmm. I want to make sure I understand my religion and you've been, your avenue has been helpful. So now, please, bear with me, okay? Be patient with me. You talk about um, Prophet Muhammad being born four years, if, if I am not mistaken, four years mm -hmm. before. Four years, four years, sorry, let me get this right. Four years mm -hmm. after his father was dead. Mm -hmm. Okay? Mm -hmm. So, I try to bring this information to my um, to my landed friend. Okay? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's not, okay, to my landed friend. But this is debunk. This is not true. Okay? Who, so, who, now. Who, 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 why you don't call the one who said to you not true right now? Let him debate me. Right now. This guy is a scholar, okay? So what, maybe this, is why, this is why we need him to call me. This is the point. Because I want you to see that the scholar is talking to you. He's a duck who do not know how to swim. No, he said this is fabricated. Okay, he, 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 will, he said it's fabricated he will, hadith. Guys, it's a fabricated hadith. What hadith? The no. guy he married... You, uh, your prophet and his, his uh, in the, uh, and the and and the, uh, uh, the the father of your prophet supposedly and his father they married in the same day so and then Hamza is four years uh, uh, older than Muhammad but Muhammad father he died three months after after he got married so how the guy Muhammad he came his mother she gave birth to him four years after the father death and how yeah, he comes to the conclusion that this hadith is 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 is, is, is fabricated and if it's fabricated why it's there why why the Muslim they have it for tens of centuries and now they discover it's fabricated yeah uh, he, he 
if you would ask me to to use my own logic that can somebody be born four years after his father's death no woman can stay pregnant for that well, long you're, you're a scholar is a potato if we go right now and we search in 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 your islamic fatwas uh we will find the following that a muslim woman she can be carrying a child up to 10 years some they say even unlimited here we go i will give you even the link so you're a scholar is a is a fraud here we go this is islam a question and answer this is not a christian website this is official muslim website and this is in arabic mm. uh, what is the longest uh, uh, period for a woman to 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 have a child or to carry a child the answer is here number one number two number three number four number five number six number etc if we click translate to english you will see just to cover the problem of muhammad they start saying things beyond the imagination according to sharia uh, it can be two years, it can be four years, it will be carefully, three years, two years. I'm not seeing anything. Eh? It's in the screen. According to Hanifi, what is what, Hanafi? What is your uh, sect? Oh, my brother, it's I guess I told you already. What, what, that, is, your uh, sect? what is your sect? I am a Muslim man. <laughs> so tell me what is your sect? Yeah. Come on, come on. What is your sect? You are born from a family, right? What your family sect? Yes. Yeah. Yeah, we are proud to be Sunnis. Yes, Sunnis. That's another I... question. I know they are Sunnis. Sunni are four sects. What is your sect? Sunnis are four sects. Hanafi, Shafi'i, whatever, Hanbali, Maliki, which one? Ah, Maliki, Maliki. Yeah. Okay, Maliki, guys, he said Maliki. Okay, read carefully. <laughs> According to Malik, six years. As Zuhri were Malik, they said six years a woman, she can be pregnant. No, and two years. As, as Zuhri and Malik, they confirm it can be even seven years. And this is the opinion uh, uh, of uh, uh, Zuhuri and Malik. And then they continue saying, there is no limit in how long a woman she can be carrying a child. So yeah, but you know, according I, to I, your I, sect, according I, to your I, sect, I, according to your sect, yeah, the Malik yeah. start from four years. Read me carefully. The Malik says, read, 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 read the screen, read the screen. Four years, according to who? Shafi'i and Hanbali and Maliki. Those are the three majors of the Muslim Sunni, three major, ha uh, Shafi'i and, Han and Hanbali and, and Maliki, they say start with three years. Then Imam Malik says it can be five, it can be six, it can be seven. And then there's other opinion, which is not Al-Maliki now, saying it can be no limit. Yeah, but that is that is not possible. Like uh, My friend, my friend, those are your scars. Don't tell me this is not possible. Yeah, but... Uh... Brother, you are a very landed person. You know that no woman can stay pregnant I, forever, I, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Listen, I'm not talking about this is impossible or not. I know this is stupid. This is another question, but this is your religion. When you're a scholar, yeah. he said this is not true. He's an idiot. Because if he if he he has to belong to one of those sects, you're a scholar. So if he is a Hanafi, if he's a Maliki as as you, will he have to agree with seven years at least between between a four to seven? This is what Maliki says in front of you, and I can give you the link. Yeah, I brought this uh, four years um, timeline. Yeah, uh, to my so did, scholar. Did you ask you... yourself why why those scars they come with this uh, seven years and eight years and even unlimited years? This is no, a... honestly, I'm in this six or seven because years. Because Muhammad was born many years after his father's death, they are trying to cover up. Otherwise, nobody. I mean, there is no reason. How stupid is that to say six years, seven years? What is that? You, you divorce your wife five years ago. She called you tomorrow. Says that come to the hospital to pay for my, for the baby I gave birth yesterday. This is stupid, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah I agree. It's okay. Stupid. So what, uh, what is your religion? Yeah. Okay. So now this Muhammad's father is Abdullah. Uh, what is the second first name? All, for first of all, there's no proof that his father's name is Abdullah, and I will prove no, it that's to what, you because the, uh, his father. Okay, let me ask you. His father is in hellfire or in heaven? Sorry, take it easy. What what, do you, what father, did he... is he in hell or in heaven? No, come on. I was not. I, I don't know. I, I I I suppose maybe. I don't know. I just I, I just don't know. Well, Muhammad he says my father and your father in hellfire. And this is Sahih, as you see. He was speaking to a man. He said to him, "My father and your father are in hellfire." So how his name is Abdullah, slave of Allah, and he will go to hell. Yeah, because this uh, Abdullah, this Allah name has been circulating or been in use before Muhammad came into the scene. You know, in one okay. of your videos, I had to uh, confirm in that also. Mm. So, 
maybe it makes sense why his father's name is Abdullah because a slave of Allah, Allah has been around in this geographical if, area. If before. a person is born from a pagan family, is he noble in Islam? If a, if a person is born from a pagan family, is mm. that person a noble person? Mm. He's a noble man if he is born from a pagan family. Is, I it, think is his father I, pagan? No, it, this will have to depend, of course, if the father or this person is already a good man. You know, in your nobility depends on your character, I think, your, your attitude. Uh, yeah, you know nobility yeah i know that people can families can inherit it you know but yeah for me my logic will be yeah, you have to earn it yourself yeah, yeah. i don't know I, I don't think you are listening to me i want to focus with me please okay your prophet father is he from a good family yes that's what i am told remember i was not there but that's what i'm told his family is a good family okay uh from the beginning to the end his so the good family are going to go yeah. to hell you know remember it depends at the end of the day you have to be judged before you can enter this uh paradise you have to be judged so uh here in the world people can say you are a good man or you come from a good family but in front of allah you did not pass the exam you know what i mean so, <laughs> so yeah okay but isn't, yeah. It, isn't it the quran says al -mushrikun al -najis? no my arabic is real not good i najis don't understand Okay. So your prophet is a son of a filthy man. Yeah, this is so also possible. And they say to us that Muhammad is born of a noble family. If the Quran describe anyone who is not who is not worshiping Allah truly, he is a najis. Not only filthy, he is filthy to the point you can't wash him. So filthy here will mean like a um it's a you can't wash. It's not a filthy, you take a shower and you are done. No, this is filthy. That means satanic, you know, evil. Yeah, but that still does not mean you cannot go to paradise, okay. you know. So, still be filthy, but you can enter paradise. Okay. Like, is there any reference that says that if you are filthy, you cannot go to paradise? <coughs> Probably not. If you are, if you are filthy, okay, this is not, yeah. this is not a topic now. Listen carefully. Muhammad is a son of Abdullah, correct? Yeah. Okay. Abdullah is filthy. Okay. His mother is filthy. Hmm. Do you have references for all these Muhammad is what? If the like father and the son, and the father and the wife, the husband and the wife, they are filthy. The son is hmm. what? Yeah, I know you want to say that the son will also automatically be filthy, but the son can otherwise be something else. Cannot be filthy also, you know, like filthy these uh, parents have to uh, undergo some kind of um uncleanliness why they are filthy for example the son can come over and then he can go to the opposite direction this is also possible Buddha? so like you 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 telling me okay uh, because the parents are filthy yeah of course yeah the, uh, the child also must be filthy yeah but this can turn out not be the case also Hmm. Okay, so what uh, but but, uh, but let us uh, go with you. If Muhammad's okay. father, he yeah. was a pagan and his mother was pagan, yeah. Muhammad, mm. what he will be? Uh, Muhammad will also likely be a pagan until Muhammad. Exactly. Uh, so Muhammad was pagan. Yeah. He was a faithy for forty years, right? Yes. Okay. So. Guys, I'm, I so Muhammad was sorry, sorry. okay. Muhammad was me, filthy uh, for forty uh, years. All right. Maybe I already come in by saying that. Let me withdraw that. I, 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 I no, 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 say hold on, hold on, hold on. You don't need to withdraw anything. You can withdraw. Who care? But uh, uh, you, you know, you have to confirm something very easy to know. If Muhammad is born from two both parents who don't, you know, they are not true believers. Well, Muhammad will be like them because yeah. even your prophet says the one when you said to me you are born with the fitra, and then there's there's a continuous says, and then your parents will make you a Jew or a Christian or etc. Correct? 
Yes, like okay. in my case, so I was this would, born this, this would be in the case for family Muhammad family. too. This would be the case for family. Muhammad too. So Muhammad is born as a Muslim by fatwa, as you claim, and then his parents will make him pagan like them. So Muhammad was a pagan for forty years at least, correct? Yes. That yes, makes him najis. The Quran says he's a najis then. So he was a pagan for forty years. He's najis. Question: Do Allah mean, do Allah choose yeah. a najis person to be a prophet? Najis. What does najis mean? Filthy. Filthy. Hmm. Dirty. Okay. So yeah, but he can be clean also no, after forty years. We'll have no, to be the, clean also. the Quran says Allah forgive not those who commit shirk. But did, did the Quran also not says that Muhammad sins past and present even the future is already for Allah forgive not. No, the Quran doesn't say Allah forgive the past. It says may Allah forgive. But Allah, he says, Allah will not forgive those who do shirk. Inna Allah la yaghfuru. La yaghfur. An yushuk abihi. Chapter 4, no, verse 48. Chapter 4, yes, verse 116. Chapter 5, the verse 72. already forgive. Uh, well, I already forget. He's a prophet. He is having a special privilege, and this is why. So, hold he... on. You see, are you saying to me that your God is not justice? So Allah, He will forgive only Muhammad, and the rest will not forgive them. That's not fair. Secondly, where you get this privilege from? If Allah says, "I will never forgive anyone who take partner with Allah," He never said, "I will forgive some and I will not forgive." You're adding things now. Yeah, but because he is a special, in fact, he, this whole world was friend, created show because... Me, show me the special. It says here, chapter 4, verse 116, one of the funny verses, Allah forgive not. That's it. He did not say forgive not for some. He said forgive not to everybody, to anyone. So if you no, ever, no. if you ever have... Allah does only those people who associate partners with him. And as far as I know, Muhammad never associate any partner with Allah. But okay, you just he told was a me, pagan. you just agreed that he was for he was a pagan for 40 years, you forgot? Yeah, but pagan only, the definition of pagan means having a different belief, having a different... No, uh, pagan is someone he believes in different God. As simple as that. Those, those are not communists. He believes in different God. So, he is born from a pagan family. He was a pagan for 40 years and you agreed with me. And then Allah, he says, Allah forgive not those who do associate with him and anything else, yeah, he forgive. The verse is so clear. Uh, there is a qualification here. If you die while you are associating partners with Allah, then this sin cannot be forgiven. Okay? So don't forget the qualification. Hold on. While you that, are that, is a, that is very right. silly. That is very silly. Yeah. Because... This is what I love. Hold on, my, uh, friend, my friend. My friend, hold on. Wait, wait. So if you die, Allah will not forgive you. But this is this is how the justice what? will be anyway. Because if Allah, Allah will judge when? Will judge in the judgment day, correct? Yes. Okay. So, but Allah did not say if somebody he commit shirk and he uh, uh, he did not like uh, ask for forgiveness before he died, then I will forgive mm -hmm. him. He said anyone who commit shirk, he did not make a limit or conditions. He said anyone commit shirk. Any other sin, I will forgive. So he made it clear that this is a this is a sin you will never be forgiven. After death, before death, who care? You will never be forgiven. Otherwise, show me where it says that if you commit shirk and I, you ask I guess for forgiveness. There are, there are, I guess there are uh, inter, uh, explanations for this particular well, for verse. Sure Muslims yeah, will come with explanation. Are, this yeah, is this is yeah, easy for Muslim. This is very easy for Muslims to to make explanation. That's why not big deal. Okay, let us let us make let us make it simple. Let's make let us make it simple. So Muhammad was a pagan for forty years. What he was praying for? He was a pagan. That's what we know. He okay. was a pagan, uh, pagan but okay. he was not like he was not worshiping any idols like you may suspect. Yeah. Because... Uh, oh, oh, oh wait wait. Around the Kaaba, there's more than 360 idols, and those what his uh, family they were they worship. This is why his his uh, uncles, all of their names is the slaves of one of the idols. Yeah, but uh, all of the Al idols. One of Al Muttalib is one yeah. of the idols. All those names, okay. all those names is uh, you know uh, 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 you know names of idols. So all his uncles they are slaves of idols. 
Okay, but yeah, but this is why we see that Muhammad's name is not one of the uh, one of the names of the yeah, idols. This is not his name, Muhammad. He changed his name because there's no way his name Muhammad, because simply. So I saw. No, my friend, hold on. Muhammad cannot be his name because the word Muhammad means the praised one, and that is, a, yes. is that is a title will be given only to God. So this man is a is a madman. He wanna he wanna make yeah. himself he wanna make himself God in earth. So he, Let's see. he changed his name, he changed his name, and you can find tons of stories about Muslims change their names after they convert to Islam in the time of Muhammad because their names doesn't fit with Islam no more, including the name of Muhammad himself. So your prophet name, his real name was Qatham. He changed it. His uncle who died before him, his name is Qatham. And the tradition is when one of the family he died, the first boy who is a male, supposedly, will come after this person who died, will give him the name of the person who passed away. So his uncle just passed away. Muhammad was born. So they gave him the name Qatham. And this is his real name. Then Muhammad, he changed it. This is why the Quran see, it says sometimes his name is Ahmad. Sometimes his name is Muhammad. But Ahmad is not Muhammad. You will say to me, it has the yeah, same meaning. Okay, why? why you, okay, hold on. You see, you, you Muslims actually, you are mushrikeen. Because if you're a prophet, is a slave of Allah, how you call you call him the praised one? Yeah, but human beings can also be praised. No. In my lifetime, no. I see many human beings the, being no, praised. Friend, so the praised, it's not one, the praised one is God. Anyone praise a, any human, he's not praising, you know, the, he's, he's, a, he's a pagan, he's a mushrik. You praise only God. We Christian, we say praise God, praise the Lord. We don't say praise uh, Paul. We don't say pro, praise Pe Peter. We don't say praise uh, anyone. We say praise the Lord. So when you Muslims, you call your prophet praise, uh, his name is the praise one. So if he is the praise one, who is praised to Allah? That means Muhammad is number one, Allah is number two. So who is the God? My friend, uh, please. Praise, human beings can be praised, you know. Praise only means to show approval or admiration for, the word so, the, you know, you can... Since when the word you, you praise yeah. means approval? Since when the word praise is mean approval? Praise is a urgent term. You say it only to God. You know, okay, let me say, do you say praise be to Allah? Do you yes. say praise? Yes. Okay. Have you ever said praise yeah. be to Jibreel? No. Why? Why? Because there was never any need for me to okay, say. Show me any praise. person. Show me any person in Islam. You Muslim. You, you say praise be to this person, beside Muhammad. No, I, no. I will only show you my friend. I have friends that I praise. When we play football and then they did wonders, I praise them. Okay, because I admire what they do. And yeah. you know, I think you see, they, praise. Yeah. Praise is not is not about admiring. Praise is is an act of worship. You are worshiping God. This is what praise, no, praise the Lord. The dictionary says, says express warm approval or admiration. Hmm. That's what praise, praise can also mean that. So oh. like if people like me, yeah, when we use praise, we are not saying that it's only uh, limited to God or to a deity. It can also be um, applied to a human being. Let us, I have let seen us, let us find easy. Who is more important in Islam, Muhammad or Allah? According to Islam, if you insult Muhammad, you have to be killed. And if you repent, still they will kill you. If you insult Allah, they give you three days to repent. And if you repent, they will forgive you. Is that correct? Yes. Okay, how come if you insult Muhammad, you have to die? If you insult Allah, no. No, I never uh, see that. I, uh, um, I... Okay. Squeeze it, squeeze so, it. Squeeze more, squeeze more. Uh, you, 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 what? Obviously, Muhammad is God because... The insult should be the insult should be more serious. The insult should be more serious if you insult Allah, not Muhammad. Should be the opposite. But if you insult Allah, they give you three days. Think about it, three days. But if you insult Muhammad, we have to kill you. That's it. What okay, kind of this, uh, who is more important then? Who is more important, Allah or Muhammad? Obviously, Muhammad. No, no. I think Allah should be more important. Allah is always How is more, more important. important. But you give me three days to repent. If you insult Muhammad, you, uh, that's it. <laughs> How is it more important? The, you, you you just agreed that if you insult Muhammad, there's no uh, forgiveness. If you insult Allah, it's okay. Check this out. Uh, Muhammad, this whole world, yeah? uh, this whole world is created because of this man called Muhammad, the praise word. Okay? Exactly. So Guys, if, did, you, did you hear what he if, said? Re repeat again, please, what you said. 
no uh, come on be with me for a second like uh, this guy is so important that we are all here because of him no, okay no, 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 so no, no, if no. you just say what you said you said the whole world is created because of muhammad correct yeah, this is what uh this is what i learned yeah this is okay. what i learned huh? so, so uh Allah so you the whole world if, because of muhammad why that shows you how important this guy is so if you are leaving everybody to insult him and there is no consequences then come on then he's not important anymore the significance is gone so we have to like we have to keep people from insulting and then demoralizing him okay yeah so, and but this is my okay, own so personal now, opinion so now so now you are you, yeah. everybody heard you because the whole world is created for the sake of muhammad so there is a consequence yeah. but the whole world is yeah. not created for the sake of allah <laughs> <laughs> Come on, you you are trying to twist. You are you trying to put that. me in You just said that. You just said that. You just said the whole world they created for the sake of Muhammad, not the, not for the sake of Allah. This is why if you insult Allah, is okay. If you insult Muhammad, no, that's not okay. The whole world is created for Muhammad, not for Allah. Yes. Okay. So who is more important then? Even Allah Himself is exist for the sake of Muhammad. <laughs> No, but Allah is not part of the world, you yeah, know. Yeah, because so Allah the, is... the job of Allah is doing what? Just to create things for Muhammad. You just told us that you Muslim believe that the whole world, the whole creation, is created for the sake of Muhammad. So, what is the job of Allah? Just to work for Muhammad. He is there just to create things for him. Okay, I can see now uh, uh, in the screen that you brought the hadith that I was having in my head. Yeah, yeah it says if. For you, O Muhammad, I will not have created. I will not have created creation. Correct. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but this this is from some kind of article. Show me the hadith. Don't show me a random article from somewhere. Come on. You are the one who Wait. mentioned it. You are the one who mentioned it. Now you don't want it. No. I it in of course I want. Because you mentioned it. It is okay. you who okay. said, <laughs> Allah. Uh, we ask you why, if Muhammad will, if insult Muhammad will be killed, but not Allah. You said because the whole world is created for him, but this is where the coming story coming from. The whole universe is created for Muhammad, the sky, the, even the chair of Allah, even the pen of Allah, everything. Allah will not have a chair if not Muhammad. Allah will not have a pen if not Muhammad. Allah will not no. have a book if not Muhammad. Allah will not no. send even Isa, even Adam, even everybody created for the sake of Muhammad, correct? You know, it's the first time I am seeing this um, this um, reference myself. I had it and I accepted it that the whole world was created because of uh, Muhammad. Yeah, and now, but that means Allah Himself is exist for serving Muhammad. So Allah in Islam is a servant of Muhammad because the whole idea of Allah existence is to what is to make things for Muhammad. There are many hadiths to this effect. Hadiths, uh, yeah, but so, but this is okay. So, what is the problem? Do you have any problem with this? Well, I think not. Yeah? I'm saying Muhammad is, is your God, it's not Allah. Islam is a pagan cult. Muhammad, he changed his name, he made himself the praised one. So, you can praise him. And as you see, Allah praising yeah. him, Allah, he prayed yeah. for him, Allah, he created yeah. for him. The whole universe is made for Muhammad. So, why uh, women are exist for Muhammad? Why Adam is exist for Muhammad? Why cockroaches exist for Muhammad? Why my yeah. computer is exist for Muhammad? Why you and me exist for Muhammad? I mean, are you are you Muslim possessed? Are you stupid or what? Because no. if this is not what worship mean, so what is worship? You no, just okay. said we you were... just you just admitted that you Muhammad is God. My friend, we, we, we just worship the guy or the power who created the creation. That's why he said, if not for you, uh, there will be no creation. So we are not uh, so worshiping. Muhammad is the so, reason. Muhammad is the reason yeah. to create everything. So Allah trying to make Muhammad happy. Correct? I'm not sure about that. What do you mean I, not, okay, what, what do you say? If not you, I did not create all of this. Is it, yes. Is that this but, is mean for, that all of this is made for you, Muhammad? Are you happy? No. You just said that is to make Muhammad happy. So, so tell I will what not is say. the purpose, guys? Uh, uh, I, I just said, no, I did not say that. I'm saying to you. So, if he said all of this is made for you, even Isa is created for you, Muhammad. Even Adam yeah. was created for you, Muhammad. Women, children, yeah. uh, horses, dogs, pigs, everything, gold, silver, just for you, Muhammad. Isn't it, this is all mean that I just made everything just to make you happy? No, no, no. It means 
just because of the potential that Muhammad is having. Muhammad's potential and his potential to redeem. What to yeah, redeem he, if the sin created for the sake of Muhammad? Because all of this is a even sin created for the sake of Muhammad. No, 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 don't go there. Sin that is like okay. When Adam, uh, when Adam he commits sin, did he choose to commit sin or, or Allah forced him? No, remember, it's not Adam who committed this, this woman who who came and then influenced no, Adam. No, when Adam he ate, or he ate from the tree. Yeah, did he commits sin or not. Yeah, he, of course. Okay. That is Did he choose to eat from the tree or Allah force him? No, it's the woman who influenced no, Adam to your eat. Your prophet, he says the opposite. Your prophet says that Allah, he wrote in his destiny as his fate and he have to do. And he did decide for him to do that 40 years before his creation. No, no, the, uh, my prophet did not say that. My prophet said, Adam said that. Adam said yeah, that. Uh, Adam, Adam, he said that and your prophet agreed with him. No, my prophet quoted Adam. No, okay, he agreed, prophet... he agreed with him. No, 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 my prophet did okay, not say. Read it then don't be stubborn. Read it. You said he did not it's... agree with him. Read it. Here we go. It says your prophet even he repeat. So Adam confuted Moses. Adam confuted Moses, and he repeated that three times. Do you know what confuted mean? So, can you say it properly? I'm not. I'm only saying halfway. Um, okay. So the prophet said Moses agreed with Adam and said to him. Adam, you are the one who got the people out of paradise. Uh, I'm not, you are. Uh, I'm not saying anything anymore. Um, yeah, you are paradise. Then Adam said to him, "Oh Moses, Allah favored you with His Torah. He wrote the Torah for him. Oh, do you blame me for actions which Allah, which Allah?" in my faith 40 years before my creation so now we see that clearly now here that's why before i told you yeah i told you that um destiny is something that we cannot ignore at all you know there was a destiny okay so 40 years before adam came into the scene adam adam should adam should go ahead and make this mess okay and that's why he cannot listen, escape listen carefully stop talking like a kid it says here do you blame me does it say, do you blame me? Do you blame do, yeah, do you me? me for okay, so had so can life. we blame Adam for the sin? Why we cannot? We cannot. Why? No. Because no, it cannot. was a destiny. It wasn't his choice. Yes. So if yes, it's my yes, choice, right. then you can't blame me because I am the one who made it. As long you cannot blame me, it means it's not my fault. Do you agree? <laughs> Yes, yes. Okay. And if this so your God, your God, he decided to Adam to commit sin for Muhammad. <laughs> no, no, no. What a stupid religion. religion. Yeah. What Why say? Adam, he committed sin? It was the plan of Allah. Allah, he wanted to create a person. This person, his name is Adam. Adam will eat from the apple. Allah, he forced him to eat. Allah will kick him out. Then Adam will go to earth and then Adam will have sex with Eve and Eve will give children and from the children of Eve one of the guys will be Muhammad and this is my plan everything is happening is just for the sake of this guy let me explain something to you okay mm -hmm. so this, this destiny this destiny um, stuff yeah is also not um, something that is easy okay for example Allah okay, for knows... example for example take a hike for example, it's not easy. This is the conclusion now. Destiny is not easy. Who cares if it's easy or not? Adam never commits sin. It was a fraud. I did not commit sin. It was a fraud because this is the plan of Allah. All of us who did not commit sin, it was a fraud. You stupid God, he forced people to commit sin just for the sake of Muhammad. This is not easy, okay? This destiny is not easy, brother. <laughs> what easy? What easy? What hard? <laughs> this religion is stupid. Why Allah kick Adam from heaven if Adam he commits sin unwillingly? I mean, the poor guy, they kick him out from heaven for what? He did not do anything wrong. He did what Allah made him do. So what we learn from the stupid religion of Islam, if you do what Allah he decides for you, you go to hell. <laughs> 
you do what Allah wants, you go to hell, okay? <laughs> I just did what Allah told me to do. <laughs> Moses saying to, to Adam, like, can you play me, Abdul? You can't play me. Allah, he made me do it. Okay, so why? And Moses here is going crazy. Okay, if, if look, look at the question. Moses said to him, Adam, Adam, father, our father, you made a disappointed. You know, because of us, we turned away from paradise, brother. Adam, he said to him, Moses, Habibi, Moses, don't be stupid. Okay, first of all, I'm a grand, 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 grandfather. Don't ask me how we met. This is a different story. Uh, do you play me for uh, destiny? Allah, he wrote for me. You cannot play me. 40 years, brother, 40 years. Allah, 40 years before he created me. He went to his office. He said, I'm going to create someone. His name is Abdul Adam. And I'm going to make him eat from the tree. And then I said to him, don't eat from the tree. But because I want him to eat from the tree, so I can kick him out. Because I need to find an excuse. What a fiction story. Even Mickey Mouse is better. Mickey Mouse made more sense. <clears throat> we have a guy, his name is Palestine One. Hey, Palestine One, why you don't call me and show me the word Allah in the Aramaic Bible? Is that fair, guys? Call me and show me the word Allah in the Aramaic Bible. We will go for it. Just to show you how stupid what you said. As long as you said the Aramaic Bible, so why you stupid God, he called the Greek Bible? Because your God, he never named the Aramaic Bible. He says Injil, and Injil is a Greek word. So your stupid God, he was quoting the Injil, the, the Greek book. But as I thought, the Muslim, they say that Isa was sent to the Hebrew. So he was sent to the Hebrew and his book was a Greek book. That is deep. It's very expected from someone like Muhammad. So I am sent to the Hebrew and my book in Chinese. I destroy it. So why your prophet, he confirm it. Look, read with me, it says, they who send down to you the Quran, O you Muhammad, confirming what is with them. Look at the first one, confirming what is with them, confirming what are with us. Why are you stupid Quran confirming what with us if we destroy it? Potato. Confirming what is with them, confirming. Musaddiqan lima ma'ahu. So, we destroy it. Allah, he says, no, we did not. Who is the stupid liar here? Hmm? Who is the stupid? One of you is lying. The Quran confirming what we have with us. We did not deny it. So, Muhammad, he came 600 years after Jesus confirming the book with us which means 600 years after jesus passed and still the book is confirmed 